Whoa! Okay! 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 <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Physical DPS Jean Lee, how should you build him? Let's find out. Faro underscore TV. Faro TV. Faro FM Radio. Faro TV. Oh no, not Faro. <laughs> Well, if you're like me and you have a Dilok, but you're just not really into those rather sluggish, slow attacks, and you have like Zhong Li, whose attacks are just probably the most stylish and badass in this game, uh, you kind of want to play him instead. You know, you want to auto attack like this instead of this. Not saying Dilok ain't cool, but I'm sorry, those those are just come on. The only downside, physical DPS, we gotta use this very very ugly. Ugly polearm. However, I think Zhong Li's auto attack were once designed to be half geo damage. Look at this. First spear is golden. Pretty sure that was supposed to be geo damage, not golden. Golden, golden again, and the last one and golden. So hey, the ugly polearm disappears now and then. Well, what is this polearm? Obviously, you probably know this is the Crescent Pike. Uh, it's a Super strong polearm for physical damage dealers, obviously with a subset of the physical damage and what's really good about it is the refinement rank. And after picking up an elemental or particle, normal and charge attacks deal additional damage equal to 30% of the attack. We can get that up more um, to 40%, but I don't have the luck to drops with the world bosses, that's just how it is. Now, how, do we, how else do we build him and who do we put into the team? We have some sweet artifacts. Now, every time people build physical, like, auto attack damage dealers, they're all always, um, now let's go with, like, the, the, the stat that gives us, like, 25 physical damage. Why? Why? We have Retracing Bolide, which gives us, while protected by a shield, additional 40% normal and charged attack damage. Now, very important fact here is that this is additional, like, we take the entire damage times 1.4. If we would get additional 25% physical damage, that would only be that would only be 92.8.8% damage plus 25%. So obviously we already have 192.8%, and then we add 25 on this, and we're only at like what 127? Uh, no, 117 actually, not in, uh, even less. Um, percentage which is just not that impressive you know very nice also obviously um, we increase shield strength that ain't bad on Zhong Li now I, my Zhong Li is a little bit mixed build we have some max HP we have some attack you know he's not 100% perfectly built for full-on DPS but of course he also scales of HP on his attacks and also not only on his attacks but also obviously his shield scales on HP which is pretty sweet now I will definitely get those talents up. I have already tried it and I came to the conclusion, yes, I want to use him as my main DPS. Though looking further into what characters are we gonna use with him, because that is also interesting. Um, first of all, yeah, obviously his, his skill got insanely buffed. We have already when the shield is up, which is pretty much all the time, a 20% um, reduction of the enemy's resistances, including physical resistance. Um, with that, we what like a so-called diminishing return happens when we get below zero percent. Every additional percent we have will be a half. So let's say the enemy has twenty percent physical resistance, we completely nullify it. Okay, there is then zero physical resistance, which is a big damage increase. Let's say the enemy has only ten percent physical resistance, we go to zero, and the remaining ten percent will be half. So he will have minus five percent physical resist uh, resistance which means we will basically do 105 percent damage that's pretty sweet but that's kind of the idea why i personally decided not to go for a superconduct build because honestly with zhong li uh, being the main guy on the field i don't feel the need to switch that often especially not for superconduct now in the future this might change um i could probably Think about something like Rosaria and Fischl, but I don't have Fischl build, Rosaria ain't out yet because Rosaria seems to have a similar um, effect to uh, Chaos Ultimate that can be transferred to other units, but on top of that Rosaria also transfers some crit rate on the unit she switches to, or like all, all the, the units in the team, so we have like a nice ice thing around Zhongli doing damage, plus we get a, a sweet sweet um, uh, crit rate increase. 
and maybe something like also with the ultimate of uh, Beidou we could do so make something happen but for now I decided to go double geo and pyro if you guys don't know yet how amazing um, double geo is right now it got buffed into beyond belief we actually get increased shield strength we take that we get additionally characters protected by a shield will have the following special characteristics. We already have an artifact built for that. We have Zhongli giving us massive shields. We're definitely gonna have a shield. So the damage dealt is increased by 15%. That is actually a bigger deal than attack by 25%. Because, again, this will just go off our already uh, increased attack and is that we, we hit a diminishing return. This 15% is boom, times 1.15 damage. Uh, that we deal extra. Then on top of that, dealing damage to enemies will decrease their geo resistance by 20% with a shielded character. That means I, my, my Ningguang isn't built yet, but I would very much suggest you to maybe have the second character be Ningguang to add like a sweet sweet additional burst to your characters. Obviously on top of that we also will have her E resonate with uh, Zhongli's E, so there is, there is a lot of nice gameplay in there I currently just have Noel because Noel Noel is honestly also like Jean Lee uh, I can do everything and just beat every en enemy alone you can check out me beating up Noel level with a level 80 Noel with a three-star weapon I beat up the child on the highest level child boss on the highest level so she's one of those but yeah just for the ele elemental resonance here I have her in the team also just some extra attack for now so this is this is like a big damage boost this is on a decent uh, damage boost the artifacts are obviously a huge damage boost for the auto attacks and that's what I'm going with. Let me show the artifacts real quick. We are running a physical damage bonus artifact obviously. We happen to roll, have rolled a lot of it on the flat HP which is obviously not what we wanted but hey shit happens. The, uh, my artifacts will never be perfect as I'm pretty much almost free to play and, and I, I'm just not lucky with those. On top of that this one here is defense rolls, a little bit of attack crit damage but hey it's crit rate that's what counts right and other than that we have just some flat attack which can also be HP but this one is kind of cool it has a flat attack it has some crit rate and it has some HP as well I mean the energy recharge and defense mm, you're on, you know it you know it it's not perfect I know this one is a pretty sweet one except for the elemental mastery of course we did which it, which it had to roll <laughs> you know uh, Still, we have HP, is extra damage, we have crit damage, is obviously extra damage, we have some little bit of attack here. What's going on, Mouse? Please don't betray me now. And a really nice flower, which really gave me everything I need. We have HP, we have crit damage, we have attack, and we have flat attack. Of course, that should be crit rate, but hey, we'll never get the perfect artifact. But with this, I'm very confident we will deal some sweet ass damage. Let's go to Child and beat him up. Obviously, uh, we are throwing Bennett also in the ring because Bennett is a healer and he also increases our um, damage with Zhongli. So that's always kind of a given. Let's try it out. Let's see what our boy can do. Everything is prepared. Okay, of course. Whoa! Okay! 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 <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Okay, yeah boys, what, 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 what am I gonna say, man? Of course, we gotta play this a bit more. Zhang Li, physical Zhang Li is in the house, man. This is from now on, this is just like crowd control, we're playing this. We're playing this, that's just how it is, man. Let's use this for a quick, quick polearm activation. Ooh, look at this, doesn't even get through the shield, bro. Bada boom and cutscene. All right. Okay, skipping it. That is probably after the Zhong Li uh, trailer music, the best music in the game in this fight, I have to say. Let's go. boom. Whatever that was. This, the attacks are just so fucking smooth on Zhongli. Looks so good. Yeah, Dilok. I don't think Dilok will ever leave the bench. <laughs> I have Ganyu, I have Kitching, I have this boy. They're all so much more stylish. Well, like Ganyu ain't maybe not that much stylish, but she's power creep, I would say. Yeah, I don't care about your little uh, 
wings here. And goodbye. Wow, that is awesome. Well, wow. I did not expect it to work that well, to be honest. I only tried it on like some some flimsy little units, but I always like to go take it to child. Um, obviously, we got some sweet buffs from the crew. We got some Bennett, Bennett at the start here um, going, but normally I play stuff where I switch the characters around quite a bit, but with this Zhongli, he's just like my favorite character by, by, by a landslide when it comes to the story. And also, when it comes to the style, honestly, there is no one. Yeah, there's no one that comes even close to him when it comes to style, I think, and to story. And now he's actually also super fucking strong to be played as a main character, as a main DPS, the guy on the field. Now, I don't know if I will always run with the setup of double fire and double um, geo. At least I think that when it comes to the Abyss, I will definitely be switching. Uh, like Noel and Zhong Li are, are like my characters that just carry the Abyss easily or like hard content easily. Like you don't know if you hard content, but if you have any challenges in the future, Zhong Li and Noel are both characters that can just clear the content on their own pretty much always. Um, and well, I think though that like in this case, Ning Wang is probably the cooler option uh, instead for Noel because Zhong Li's shields are just that strong, especially with like all the shield increase like if you don't know his shield is also 150 percent uh, effective so let's do the quick math here how much this physical dps zhongli is currently uh shielding boom we have a shield the e shield is almost 20 000 hp it is almost a 20 000 hp shield that his e gives while while that shield is also deducting 20% resistance and 20% elemental, uh, physical resistance and 20% all elemental resistance. That's why Ning Wang also comes into play because Zhong Li plus Ning Wang or another Geo char character is also reducing the Geo resistance to a total of 40% against Geo damage. Like, uh, that's. <laughs> Minus 40% Geo resistance on the enemy. So again, if the enemy has 20% Geo resistance, that's gone, plus minus 10. So we do 110% uh, Geo damage against the enemy that had 20% Geo resistance. We would normally have done 80% damage with Ningguang. Now we do 110% damage. So definitely, I think, a great partner for, um, for Zhongli having like a secondary burst DPS in the form of um, of Ning Wan. Obviously, it would be cool if we get like a second really cool uh, fire support character. We might have uh, Zhang Ling for some extra damage. But yeah, we're not really relying on elemental combos at all here. We're just dealing the shit, the shit ton of damage with physical damage while also being fucking stylish and lazy as fuck. I mean, boom, okay? 20,000 shield, 20,000 HP shield. Why are we doing this? In my opinion, I'm sold. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you sold on that? Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would very much appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you want me to try something else with the characters I have. Let me show you my cast real quick. Boom, there it is. You can pause the video to see it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.